Hello, welcome to Puzzle of the Week series where we experiment with Java code. I am Lukas and today we'll be inserting integers to the list of string. If you think it's a bad idea, then you're absolutely right. Let's see what will happen. We initialize list of strings and then insert two string values into this list. Next, we assign it to the row list reference and by this reference insert integer value. In the last step, we iterate through the list of strings and print out its values. As you probably spot, our code tries to insert uh, integer value to the list of strings and then try to read it as a string. And it compiles. But now let's check how it behaves in runtime. As you can see, there are no surprises yet. But now is crucial point, because we're trying to insert integer to the string list and let's see if we can do this. As you can see, we did it with no problems and if we take a look to the list of strings, it contains three elements and the last one is of integer type. Okay, so now let's check if we can read all of these values. Okay, so we read first two values successfully and now the question is what will happen if we try to read integer value as a string. And as you can see, this time test failed and we received class cast exception. What we observed here is so-called heap pollution, which is a consequence of decisions made during introduction of generics in Java 5 to maintain backward compatibility. So first is possibility of declaring row types and because of that our code could compile and second is time erasure at compilation. Because of that it wasn't detected that we inserted an incompatible type into the collection. That's all for today. We learned about heap pollution, a potential pitfall that can occur when working with generics. Remember not to use row types whenever possible. In most cases the compiler will warn you about such usage. So it is worth taking this warning seriously to avoid possible class cast exception in the future.